What's up, YouTube? Brandon here with Beard Guy EDC, coming back at you guys with another video today. Today, we're gonna to be having a quick look at the Honey Badger Leaf. So we're gonna be doing a review on this guy today. I've had it now for a little over a week, maybe close to two weeks. It's not my first Honey Badger. I have the Honey Badger Warren Cleaver as well. But I gotta say, uh, this blade profile of the new Leaf is pretty cool. Really like this knife. It's been in my pocket quite a bit for the last few weeks. I use it a lot. Uh, I've been using it at work, uh, using it around the house. Great little knife. So we're gonna be having a look at the Honey Badger. Uh, we're gonna be comparing it up against a couple other uh, popular EDC knives, just so you guys can get a feel of the blade length and uh, the handle and all that, just to get a, get a, get a look at it next to some, some knives that may look a little more familiar to you if you're not familiar with the Honey Badger. I've been a fan of the Honey Badger now since 2019, I'd say, uh, ever since I found out about them. Uh, super budget-friendly knife. Uh, great steels. They got the 8CR13 if you're really budget conscious. Uh, they also have a D2 option available if you like tool steel. So you have some options. Uh, there's a, a whole plethora of options for the blade shapes as well. But uh, as I said, today we're going to be reviewing the leaf. Uh, the leaf that I picked up was the medium in black FRN. So here we go. Let's get into this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and find it informative. Take her easy. All right, you guys. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick review of the uh, Honey Badger Leaf. This is my third Honey Badger in the collection. I have uh, two worn cleavers, a tan one and a black one. Uh, I dropped the tan one and uh, broke the tip off, so that's why I bought the black one. But uh, this is the third Honey Badger that's came into my possession. Uh, the first without a worn cliff or worn cleaver profile, as they call it at the Honey Badger uh, brand. So this is the Honey Badger Leaf in size medium with black FRN scales. So it has a reversible pocket clip. The pocket clip comes out and can go on either side. And the side that doesn't take the pocket clip, there's a uh, small insert there that goes in just to fill the gap. So this is the leaf model. It's got a slightly downward facing blade profile. The blade kind of points down from the handle. A little bit of almost a, a modified sheep's foot, I guess you would call it, for the blade profile of this leaf. It's got a nice belly on it. Beautiful, beautiful profile there. I definitely don't mind the FRN scales. Usually people tend to think that it feels cheap. It is a cheaper budget blade knife, but even though it has this FRN scales, the texture on it makes it feel pretty good in the hand. It's got some great jimping back here where your thumb would go, and also some jimping on the blade here, and all the way up the blade. So if you did choose so to ch choke up, you have some jimping there to hold your thumb while your finger's in that choil. So you can really get up on that blade. Really like that jimping there, and as well where your thumb goes right there. There's also gonna be some jimping on the flipper tab on both sides of the figure choil. As always with a honey badger, you get that awesome drop shot action those bearings are just great. I absolutely love that about the Honey Badger. They just open really smooth, nice deployment, nice closing. That's one of my favorite things about a knife. I know it doesn't make the quality, but there's something satisfying about just opening and closing a knife with that fidget factor. So there's a lot of ways you can open the Honey Badger. Obviously you can use the flipper tab there, the most convenient and obvious way to open it. But a lot of people also like spotty flicking them open. They're pretty, pretty easy to spotty flick there. Great deployment. Another tried and true method is the old thumb flick. And you can also do the reverse grip flick. Great little knife overall. It feels very nice in the hand. Comfortable closed, comfortable open. You can get four fingers on it easily. I have an average hand. I wear a size large glove, I should say. And I can get four fingers on this blade pretty easily. Choke up on it nicely. Like I said, with the jimping there, it feels nice. A couple different ways you can hold it. All in all, I gotta say, it's a very nice, visually appealing blade. Also, it works really well for utilitarian use. I've been using it now for uh, a couple weeks, I guess, I've been using it. And I gotta say, it's been holding up great to uh, whatever I've been doing with it. I've been cutting boxes down, 
Opening packages, the usual, uh, opening letters and stuff, nothing too crazy with it, but that HCR13MOV has definitely been holding up pretty good. I opted out not to get the D2 model just because, I don't know, I, I find the, uh, with the climate where I live, there's a lot of salt in the air. I like having a full stainless. D2 is semi-stainless, yes, it will hold up to corrosion, but I try not to have too many not stainless blades in the collection with uh, tool steel just because, like I said, it's a salty climate where I live. But this HCR13 NMOV has held up well, like I said, to what I've used it for so far. The medium size feels good in the hand. Uh, all of my honey badgers are actually medium. I haven't ordered any large or small. The medium for me is just a good size. I, I like the blade length. So the leaf comes in at about 3.2 inches for blade length, which is a good blade length for EDC for me. I like to be around three inches, less than three and a half preferably. Anything above three and a half is a little bit on the larger side of EDC for my preference. So this is right in my pocket, 3.2 inches. It's a great, great size blade. The handle feels nice. The blade to handle ratio is pretty good in my opinion. It's got jimping in all the right places. It's got cutouts in all the right places. The design is overall really great on this Honey Badger and for the price point, you're not gonna get much more for your money. The, the action, the steel. I've only had the one issue with my Honey Badger where I dropped it and broke the tip on concrete. But as I said, that was with the HCR13 model. The D2 one obviously would be a little bit tougher. Maybe it wouldn't have happened. But HCR13 is fine for me, uh, for my use. I don't really have to sharpen it a whole lot. I'd say maybe once a month, maybe twice a month if I use it for hard use for that month. But for the most part, I use my knives just for general utilitarian EDC use. I'm not out here batoning anything or anything crazy like that. Like I said, cutting some boxes and stuff like that. But this is the leaf. Uh, my quick thoughts on it, like I told you guys, I love this knife. It's got some great ergos. It looks cool. Uh, the profile of the leaf blade, like I said, with that modified sheep's foot is pretty nice, I gotta say. And I like the tip uh, pointing down a little from the handle. Like if I hold the handle straight there, you can see the blade kind of angles down a little bit. I really like that. It kind of kind of nice for cutting boxes and stuff. So I guess I'll, uh, just for comparison, I'll show you guys a couple other popular blades next to this Honey Badger, just so you can get a idea of the size. So just bear with me for a second. I'll grab another knife here. So the first one I'm gonna compare it with is the QSP Penguin. So this is the Penguin here. And the medium leaf. Handle size is about the same. The leaf has definitely a bit more texture, so you're gonna be able to get a bit more grip on it. The leaf has a little bit more uh, length than the blade, but I think the QSP actually has a bit more cutting length there, where the, uh, the choil is for the Honey Badger is a lot larger. But all in all, they're close on in size. As I said, it's a, it's a great EDC knife, just like the Penguin. Perfect size for utilitarian task. Just to compare it to another familiar blade that people might know, the uh, Benchmade Mini Bugout. So handle-wise, the bug out's a little bit shorter. I would say maybe like a quarter of an inch shorter. And it's definitely a lot narrower and uh, a lot lighter, I should say. But uh, the blade length is obviously a lot shorter on the bug out, coming in at less than three inches. But all in all, the bug out and the honey badger, in my opinion, the mini bug out and the honey badger, in my opinion, are quite similar for their uses. Uh, I, do, I do tend to carry my bug out a bit more than my honey badger since I've got it. So I carry the Honey Badger mostly at work. Uh, it's a cheaper blade, so I don't mind so much if I beat it up. Unlike with my Benchmade, if I were to beat that up, I'd probably be a little bit more upset about it. It's a little bit pricier of a blade. Uh, just to show you guys, this is it next to the Warren Cleaver Honey Badger. I will probably be doing a review on that one as well, but all in all, the handles are pretty much identical. The only thing that changes, they have the same steel, the HCR 13 MOV. The only thing that's going to change between these two is the blade shape. So you do have that worn cleaver, like I said. It's a kind of a worn cliff and a cleaver mixed together. And this is the leaf with the uh, modified sheep's foot, I guess you would call it. My two honey badgers. I do have a tan worn cleaver as well, but as I said, he's uh, suffered a gnarly fate. I've reprofiled it a bit, but it just doesn't look right, so I don't really carry him a whole lot anymore. So, that's my opinion on the Honey Badger Leaf. All in all, it is a great pocket knife, great for EDC use, and great for the value. It's uh, super, super cheap. You can pick up a Honey Badger for uh, less than 50 bucks US if you're looking for an HCR13 MOV model. 
Uh, you can also pick up a, uh, a D2 model if you want something a bit more expensive. Obviously, they're going to be uh, a higher price point, but you do get that added toughness to the steel with the tool steel. So, to end off this video, as usual, I'll be doing a pocket check for you guys to show you what's in my pocket while I'm filming. So, obviously, I showed you a couple of knives to compare with the Honey Badger that I'm reviewing here. But that's not my carry for the day. All day, I've been carrying my TS-255 Relentless, one of my favorite knives in my collection, titanium, carbon fiber, frame lock flipper. Absolutely impeccable action there. Love that guy. And I've been carrying my Let's Go Brandon pocket pen, of course. And last but not least, my Lumen Top Tool AA 2.0. Awesome little flashlight, super lightweight, and that's the carry for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of the Honey Badger Leaf. Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to film. Uh, check out my other videos if you want to. Uh, you can look at my uh, description down below. There's a couple playlists you can go through. And as always, have a great day and take her easy.